Hi, what's up guys? Uh, it's me Dylan as young. I just want to uh, share this with you um, uh, maybe it's gonna help one of you out there. Uh, last night uh, while uh, working on my PC I've just re realized that when navigating to some of uh, folders on my window, I have uh, Windows 7 Ultimate version, uh, I get this uh, com uh, surrogate has stopped working. So I was really upset because every uh, folder with picture or like uh, video uh, in it were like uh, giving this message every time I was uh, trying to open them. So uh, th I uh, do some research on the online. This is what I came across. I hope it's going to help somebody. But on my case, it's mostly because of the uh, the K Lite codex. I had I had the version uh, 5.0 that I've installed uh, two weeks ago, uh, but then how did I find out uh, it's these, uh, the K-Lite uh, codex giving a problem? Because there is a lot of um, other um, reason uh, this can give you, uh, you can get this error. But uh, I, uh, I, I, what I can tell is, is to try to find out on your machine uh, how did, uh, what module or what uh, application is giving a problem to uh, your windows so on uh, i will advise you to 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 do it in the following way you we have to go to the action center there's a way um, to go on the uh, to the action center for control panel but i will show you the short way the short way uh, if you look uh, down on here uh, you will see this icon looking a bit like a like a flag so if you click on that uh, icon and then you will you will have the option of uh, open action center so i will advise you to click there once and then when you get uh, to this uh, action center a window i will advise you to come to the maintenance and then click on the down pointing arrow so you click there once then you're going to um, have this expanded then you go down and look for reliability history so you click there once you will have a graph like uh, this one uh, that you have, you can see on your screen. So if you look at carefully, uh, for instance, you have your dates here. Uh, this happened last night. So last night was the 14th of uh, August. So if we try to uh, look at uh, uh, specifically uh, the dates, so we can uh, click on the column to to choose when and the problem is as you can see here we have a red sign here then it's where we had our problem so I will take it on this part of the date uh, as you can see uh, I, I, I hope uh, uh, you are able to uh, properly see what's uh, um, on my screen or else I will try to zoom it up for you uh, as you can see here on the uh, 14th of August and then we have there uh, this problem but then going back to our chat you will see that at the bottom here i have uh, the, the it shows me the event so let's take the first one when did this first stop like this one uh sorry uh com sorry get stopped uh at uh two uh two a.m uh at three minutes past two sorry but i sometimes work very late on my pc so we will double click on it and then we're going to have a window like this one so if we have a, a closer look, you will realize that we will look for a fault module, this one. So in this field, it's going to tell us what module gives the problem or what application giving the problem. So if we look at here, we're going to see there's uh, this uh, LAV splitter dot AX. So I've done some uh, research online and I found out that it was linked with uh, if I if we come to Google um, it was linked with uh, the K light codex so uh, but uh, you can have a different uh, situation so I will just advise you to check on that field and uh, see what uh, uh, what name is there and then you Google and from there you you might get a possible solution for it or else you just if you found what it is you uninstall it but then uh for uh for our case so we're going to go to codex um <clears throat> i think it's called codexguide.com that's the site of the software 
uh, that's this is the official site if you have a problem with the K-Lite codex so you come here so I found out that uh, even from their side they had a uh, another version for because I'm having a Windows 7 64-bit uh, operating system so there was uh, a version a new version uh, available on the 8th of August so I went to to download it uh, I won't download it again because I've already done it but uh, I think they they updated it according to the complaint or the problem they have so actually if you have issues and uh, you found out what application is giving you problem uh, just try to uh, go to the action center and then find what module application it is then you will uh, try to find the solution from either removing that application or finding if they have uh, a new version available okay i'm going to say uh, bye from here this is the step that i found i hope that someone is gonna help someone else that was de la nation uh, see you in another video